More than 17,000 earthquakes have been recorded in the southwest of Iceland, in the Reykjanes Peninsula, during the past week. People living in the area have been advised to be extra careful due to dangers of landslides and rockfall. Many of the larger earthquakes have even been felt in Iceland's capital city, Reykjavik, where over half of the population lives, which lies only 27 kilometers away. This raises concerns about the impact of larger earthquakes and the possible eruption of the Krasuvik volcanic system in the area. The southwestern part of Iceland has a quiet record for hundreds of years. We know that the turbulent period of violent seismic activity accompanied by volcanic eruptions may break this record. It seems that we are entering the next turbulent period. Iceland has a world-leading network for monitoring seismic and volcanic unrest, and an excellent track record of anticipating eruptions and of maintaining the safety of its population. So if an eruption did happen, chances are all will be well. The biggest concern internationally about a volcanic eruption in Iceland is disruption to air travel. Ash clouds can get high into the atmosphere and into the stratosphere where commercial airlines travel across the busy Atlantic flight corridors. But the volcanoes in southwest Iceland tend not to produce much ash, and so the risk to disruption of international air travel is considered very small. Should an eruption start, flights would be halted automatically at the Keflavik International Airport, which is only 22 kilometers away, until a fuller evaluation has been carried out. While current COVID-19 restrictions on entering Iceland will prevent hordes of tourists from traveling to see a potential eruption, there will be plenty of Icelanders traveling to observe it. They have a quirky saying in Iceland, whilst in most countries people usually run away from volcanic eruptions, in Iceland we usually run towards them. Thank you for watching, Joseph Shinoda, March 8, 2021.